Well, hey guys, I hope you guys had a really good weekend. Happy Tuesday, everybody. She's gonna give me a kiss. She might. <laughs> she likes good looking guys. Yeah, well, I can't blame her. That's why I'm here. <laughs>
Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. And yeah. this will be up on Talk Em Up Tuesday. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are going to have to hit Justin up at Stud Reptiles and That's right. see what you think about. Get on the list for some of those locality right. Sulawesi stuff. What would you say is your favorite and least favorite thing about the reptile hobby and industry? It could be the people, it could be the animals, it could yeah. be anything. Fav most favorite and least favorite things. My favorite thing is honestly either whenever you get a new snake and you first open up that bag and that beautiful snake just comes crawling out on you and it's just hanging out. Or when you walk down into the reptile room and you see a lock from a pair that you've been waiting on or she's sitting on eggs. That's pretty cool. It never gets old. <laughs> so basically all of it. Anything yeah, that has yeah. to do with getting new snakes yeah. in the male, in the egg, yep, in the exactly. female, doesn't matter, you like it. Exactly, and least favorite. <laughs> Everybody always says the drama and like, yeah, we can all do without the drama, but um, you and I kind of went through a pretty crazy night here in this oh, basement. Oh, yeah, that was, um, that was nuts. Losing a female is the worst feeling I've had as a breeder. I wanted to just say, screw it all, give up. No, that was, I remember you called, I mean, it was your big pied tiger girl yes, that yes. you, she didn't love you, but you loved her. <laughs> yeah. And right. she was loaded with eggs, yep. past yep. due. In a two foot section of body, just full of And eggs. I think it was like Saturday night because I yep. was actually coming down to Pittsburgh somewhere yep. for a date night with yep. my wife, Ashley. I know. And then yeah. you, you called us up and- We had a bonding moment, that's for sure. <laughs> well, tell, tell us about that a little bit um, because this is something that I think is kind of like the reality of it yeah. sometimes yeah, that, that people don't consider, you know? So we bred um, the tiger pied with the marble. Everything went great for locks and she ovulated. She was getting thick, doing everything she was supposed to be doing. Um, you know, she shed on time, everything was perfect. And then she just started laying real weird towards like day 25, day 30. And she just started to lose weight. She wasn't looking good. She was getting thicker. She dropped one nasty looking egg. Um, it got to day 43 and she was just struggling. She was getting super skinny. Nothing that I could do was making her calm. So I called the vet. We were able to get a shot of, uh, I'm sorry, oxytocin. Oh, okay. Which and induces uh, labor. Yeah. So we gave the shot. She was trying to push, but couldn't. She just was trying so hard and couldn't. So you and I gave a, a mineral oil enema and tried to massage out as much as we could. We got all the eggs out, but there was, I believe it was 46 eggs and two feet of space in her. So she was not comfortable at all. Uh, and there was quite a few like infertiles yes, in there. Yes, there was a bunch of slugs. Gum together just, and stuff like that. They were just stuck inside the uterine wall. It was not a good situation for her. Then four days later, she did pass. Uh, it was just the stress did it. Losing the weight, she wasn't able to recuperate, but that's definitely the, the worst side of the hobby for me. Yeah, I would say that definitely uh, is a little bit worse than yeah. internet drama. Yeah, you can keep the drama. That was not good. It had me reconsidering things for a while. How do you? How do you get? Yeah, I was gonna say you're saying you're reconsidering stuff. How do you get past an experience like that emotionally, even? So I spent um, spent a good week and a half just kind of maintaining my collection, just water, food, clean. That's it. Not actually interacting. And it got to a point my wife's like, look, you're not down there anymore. You're not spending the time. You're not spending the energy. You need to be down there. So uh, the first snake that I ever held back is my last Sunfire. I just kind of pulled her out and just started interacting with her. And I'm like, all right, I gotta keep going here. You know, uh, it is what it is. It happened. Nothing I can do is gonna change that at this point. So move forward, not look back. So here's an icebreaker question for you, all right? What is something about you, Justin, that would probably surprise people to know about you? To uh, the non-reptile people that I have huge snakes in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> my neighbors only knew. Um, <laughs> otherwise, um, I don't know, I coach hockey uh, for my son, deck hockey. I help with Girl Scouts for my wife and my daughter. So, and I also keep a full-time job while doing all of these reptiles that my wife does not complain too much about, so. Which is why it's been a year since yeah. we got to do a Talk em Up Tuesday, even though he's local. Yep, yep, yep. So, all yeah. those stinking yinzers in their hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like our hockey. Yeah, yeah that's My crazy. truck bed's full of hockey equipment. It was fishing equipment, you know, up until my kids were two or three and now it's starting to be hockey and 
Girl Scout Cita cans and <laughs> stuff like that. So very yeah. cool. Yeah. Very cool. So you're enjoying being your your fatherhood then? Yeah, I do. Uh, my dad started us camping and hiking and things when we were little, um, snake catching in the woods and salamander catching. So it kind of took flight from there. Um, that's what kind of started this whole craziness. We well, actually crazy have, like I said, as a hobbyist, you have a pretty large collection. I think, I think certainly there's people out there with more snakes. Yes. But you have some big snakes. Yes, I do. They're a lot to maintain. Yes. You know, but the cool thing is when you have a smaller number of snakes, you can be extremely selective the way that yeah. you have. Yeah. And, uh, you know, really get some, some pretty cool stuff going on here. Right. So. I was just in that one room, what, eight months ago, and now my wife let me... Uh, take over another spot in the basement. <laughs> so now I have two snake rooms, a male room and a female room, which is pretty cool. The don't, males don't push I don't have anymore, that. so, yeah. right. So you the keep males them, don't push. How do you push. do that? You keep them a little bit cooler? I do keep them just a few degrees cooler. Okay. And, uh, yeah, they don't, uh, I'm sure they smell the females, but they're not in the same room, so. Probably help your fertility out too. Hopefully, I, we'll see. So. This yeah. is the first breeding season I'm coming into with the separate room thing, and we'll see what happens. Awesome. Uh, looking forward to it. Very cool. Well, hey, man, if people want to get a hold of you for any of these upcoming clutches, there's somewhere yeah. that they can go to kind of like watch what you're doing yeah. and just keep an eye because I'm telling you, anytime this guy cranks something out, it's it's noteworthy and you want to pay attention to it. So Thank where where can we reach out and get a hold of you? Um, Facebook, Stud Reptiles, um, or my personal Facebook page. I have a lot of people calling me, so I prefer not to talk on the phone with hockey and Girl Scouts and work. Uh, but yeah, Facebook is perfect. I reply very quickly. Okay. Um, you can check out my reviews. I don't, uh, I don't mess around. If you want a snake, we're going to make it happen. So. Okay. Very cool. So those Facebooks are stud reptiles. Yes. Facebook.com slash stud reptiles. And, uh, my personal page, Justin Studeny, S T U D E N Y. All right. Very cool. Well, Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Well, it's always a good time when we get to go visit Justin Studeny. Isn't that right, Finley? Yeah, we like those guys. So, but anyways, I hope you guys had a really good time. We're able to learn a few things while we connected with him this week. Before I let you go, I just wanted to give a shout out to Ian Bissell of S&J Reptiles, who was cool enough to shoot me out a sticker for the filing cabinet. It's getting pretty full, but I got a lot more room. I mean, I've got grand visions of this thing just being covered with vinyl. So if you guys want to have your sticker featured right here on a Talk em Up Tuesday to find yourself on the filing cabinet, just shoot one of your business stickers in the mail to the address in the description below, and we'll throw you guys up here. Hey, we'll see you guys on Friday for your free tip. And until then, have a great week.